<laughs> Alright, um, I'm John Franey. And I'm Hannah Grimley. And this is, um, the AI squared. Yeah, that's what this is. What are you doing? Being John. I'm John. I'm John Franey. Um, so, we, uh, don't know what to talk about, so we're gonna go straight to tweet tweets so we can do funny stuff. Because we, we're cool, and we say cool stuff. Yeah. I'll go first. So, Hannah, what are you gonna tweet today? At the funny teens. If I was famous, I would just knock on people's doors and be like, Hello, yes, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that was pretty good. That was, that was good. It made me chuckle. Um, at a underscore single underscore bear account a bear. I hope everyone gets to be very happy today. What? Dude. What are you guys doing? Come on. Are you serious? AI squared. Wait, is it recording? What? what you Get out! On? Get out of my chair! I haven't gone for you! Pretenders? Frogs! Also, what's up with the Cheerios in here? I don't know, I was eating breakfast. Like, I didn't think we were on right away. Well, do Sorry, we... guys, I'm just eating. Jeez. So, do we roll with this? I don't know. They've been going for a minute and 45. What? Well, it is ironic because yeah. we were going to talk about stealing thunder. Yeah, we were talking about when people like, dude, Come you, on. Did, you did. Thanks, guys. I'm just so you know, like when right you're going to tell a joke. I don't really know what to do. When you're going to tell a joke. My heart's beating really fast. When you're going to tell a joke. Yeah. And like you set it up perfectly. Or like when somebody interrupts you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and you set it up perfectly. And then they're just like, oh, yeah, yeah, and then, and then they give you the punchline because they have no patience. Right. And you would have said, said it so much better. Yeah. And it would have been so much funnier. <sighs> it's the worst. But we're back. Here we are. For I'm real. Hannah. I am the real John. I wonder if they said they were us. We're going to have to go back and watch that. Yeah. See if we should include it or not. Yeah. Well, I suppose in the long run we'll probably laugh about it. Probably will be funny. What's my hair doing? I think it's, it's the bun. It's bunning. Look at that thing. <laughs> Hi guys. So uh, has Here anybody stole your thunder in a major way? Yeah. Um. I mean, I have to think about it for a sec. Oh. You know, I feel like that happens when you have like siblings in general. You know, like you're about to tell mom something. Just a bunch of thunder stealers. They just steal your thunder. Oh, one really big one. One time, I went to college. One time. Yeah. And then I got a job in the same town as a teacher. The and same town as a teacher? You got a job? Okay, whatever. In? In Morris, Minnesota. Oh. Okay. Went to college to get more knowledge. Went to, got a job <laughs> to give others knowledge. Word Started up. Started working at a church. Then guess what? My three siblings all moved to the same town. Thunder stealing. Jeez, what a bunch of thunder. I don't really mind, they're pretty great. Oh, okay. But it was thunder stealing. My thunder. Are, are you I don't know, is that, is that the same thing? What's the, what's the definition of stealing thunder? I'm gonna ask Siri. Okay. Well. Siri. <sighs> what, I never know how to work this thing. Siri, what is the definition of stealing someone's thunder? Let me check that. Here's what I found on the web for what is the definition of stealing someone's thunder. You're not going to read it to me? Rude. I can't read it. Mm. Idioms by the free dictionary. It's like taking their clout thing. You know? Their like cloud? Clout. Clout. I took your cloud. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, to lessen someone's force or authority. 
Did I not just say to, to do take something their clout? That, I don't really know what that word means. Well, you just defined it for yourself. To do something that takes attention away from what someone else has done. Like right. moving to so a like new town. So when you're talking and, and I'm just being like, a ah! <laughs> I feel like I probably do that to you a lot. Yeah, while you you're do. Talking. I don't mind. I'll steal your thunder. All right. Well, it's a given. Let us know if you have a good story of someone stealing your thunder or of you stealing someone else's thunder because. Also, kids, do your kids ever steal your thunder? Like you're saying something and they just are so much. Not that I than recall. Like, well, in general, like yeah, but, all the babies there, like Johanna's thunder gets stolen by ransom. Oh, for probably. sure. Probably. In most situations. But the thing is, Hi, like, Dad, can I hold ransom? I feel like some people, when they come to our family, and if it was just Johanna and I, I'd be like, ah, oh, John just doesn't have much thunder. So I can and just be like, here, jo children! Johanna steal your thunder. Right. The kids steal Johanna's thunder. Yeah, you but... You basically just don't have any But thunder. in my estimation, they augment the thunder of our family unit. Augment. So, I'm okay with it. Siri, define augment. Oh, jeez. To, to <laughs> bolster. I need, I require <laughs> hand motions. <laughs> To bolster. Augment. Bolster. Clout. It's <clears throat> a good sentence. Yeah. Um, okay, so when someone's thunder... Somebody else was in my seat. It's like gold. When someone's thunder has been stolen... Because, yeah. You having a lift today? Yeah. Um, how do you react? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, I think ideally you would just like react gracefully like, yeah, that was it. Mm. That's what I was going to say. Mm -hmm. But I feel like usually cheek. I'm more like... RN, are you kidding me? RN. A T B M R N, are you serious? That's what I probably do. That would that would definitely gain you back some thunder. Yeah, I think I would get it back. Holy thunder. Yeah, that's probably how I handle Rumbly it. I just, I just thunder. yank the thunder back and I say, "This is my thunder," and then I throw a lightning bolt. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah, I I pretty much just like yeah, nobody wants to hear it from me, so then I'm just not gonna say things anymore. <laughs> It's not good. It's not healthy. I should learn to retrieve my thunder. Yeah. With it's, force. It's better, it's better to just take it back, you know? We're gonna take back! Also, this whole idea of thunder is just... Oh, the just enemy has stolen! Getting a little obscure. Take back. Take back the night! Back, 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 back. Who's that by the So remember. we know who the thunder snatcher is in this I group. can't lip read. Chelston. Demo Lee Vado. <laughs> Demo Let's try it. Let's. We should do the um. We should do the silent lip reading sometime. What is it? Did you just know? say it out loud? They know I'm looking at you right now. Yeah, we're having Justin Timberlake. <laughs> JT, it's, uh, the, it's a good old JT. Yeah. Did Stay you know? Did you know? Polar bears can smell a seal from 20 miles away. I knew. Either that. seals are really stinky. I knew that. The seals are stinky. Just Take it back, John. Come on. Come on. But polar bears' noses are bananas. <laughs> polar bears' noses? <laughs> polar bears' noses are bananas. This is great. This is so great. Uh, I don't think I really lip reading next time. took that much thunder back. Lip reading, lip. You didn't because you your I, grammar was bad. I promised to get better. We but I definitely got the attention back. We made a really good grammar meme with my brother. Oh, boy. His grammar's pretty bad sometimes. Mm -hmm. Which brother? Take a guess. David. Yeah. Where are you guys going? You already stole our thunder. Don't steal it anymore. Okay. Uh, I can't find it. So, okay, sorry. Okay, cool story. All right. So here's this thing. I want to ask your opinion. Okay. I will rightfully give you the thunder. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. I'll take it gladly. Um, this is... That was me putting the thunder on. Via Twitter, but it doesn't count as a tweet tweet because it's subject... Food for thought. Fair enough. Okay. From Definitely. at Dan Runs Fast. I do agree with a lot of points feminists make, but boy, do they know how to ruin a good story. And the story is, Cinderella never asked for a prince. She asked for a night off and a dress. Is that reprehensible to you? Or is that... Does that augment... Siri, what does reprehensible mean? Does that augment... Feminism. The definition of reprehensible is bringing or deserving severe rebuke or censure. So does that 
does Cinderella deserve it? Is, is that, that right? interpretation reprehensible of the Cinderella story? It's dumb. That version. Yeah. So maybe reprehensible? I mean, reprehensible yeah, I might it, be strong. I think it's deserving of rebuke. I don't know. Do you already find rebuke? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... From two definitions of rebuke, the first one is an act or expression of criticism and censure. So I can express criticism of that. Yes. W will you, or will you just say that you are <clears throat> going to? Well... No, like, she didn't care about, like, it wasn't about having a night off. Like, she wanted to be with people and be happy. And the prince was important to that. Mm -hmm. Like, she didn't ask for the prince, but she also wasn't just asking for a pretty dress. Because she didn't care what she wore. Like, she would have probably gone, you know, in anything that was provided for her. It also depends on the and version in, like, the of the Disney story. Version, think, like, like, this oh, latest so mean. one. She totally wanted to meet the prince again. So she was willing to do whatever. But yeah. maybe in the original version, okay. she didn't even well, know the prince. Well, right. I mean, initially, she wasn't going. She didn't expect to be noticed by the prince. Right. But the, the whole... Okay, here's the thing. The whole point of that ball is the prince. He's trying, supposed to find a wife. Well, yeah. So if you're going to the, go ball, to the ball... If you're a female and you're going to the ball, and there's a part of your brain... Like, the stepsisters See, are like, she's yeah, a woman. he's mine. He's she mine. She didn't say this. But the, Holy fart. The stepsisters were like, he's mine. <laughs> he's mine. What did you just say? Thunder. Okay. Um, the stepsisters were like... They went thinking, like, yeah, we're going to get him... And shared him, which is weird, by the way. Yeah. Um, but Cinderella was like, probably in the very small part of her mind, was like, maybe he would like me, little Cinder girl. But she went and <laughs> she went and probably that was just a little part. So yes, I disagree. I disagree. Okay. Yes. She's a woman. She can I say disagree. it. I disagree. I think Cinderella did care about having like Absolutely it's about finding true did. love and why not a prince? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Well, this is running a little long because door. of the usurpations from it's the other. Not. Hey, I got, I found the meme. Oh, we need to tweet, <laughs> yo. In your cracked screen. So what? What's it My say? What's it sucks say? sucks a little. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, at LM on the run. The wider the bread, the sooner you're dead. Dad quotes. Mm -hmm. At the funny teens. If I was famous, I would just knock on people's doors and be like, hello, yes, it's me. At D Chinnis 2005, if the world didn't suck, we'd probably fall off. Probs, true. Probs. At shut up, Mike Jin. I bet people were like, what's next after the moon landing? I wish I could tell them we get social media and use it to make each other sad. For reals, though. At Mark Leggett, Indiana Jones came face to face with Hitler but didn't kill him and saved millions of lives because he was too busy looking for a wooden cup. I just texted. She just texted. I guess that is the end of us. At Thanks least for the show. This time. I'm the real. <laughs> no! This is, this no! is the AI Squid.